The worst defeat to date? Um, I would say it's actually exactly 10 years back, 2011. So that was my second SEA Games. Yeah, I really wanted to, to do my parents proud, um, do Singapore proud, uh, and to know that so many people have supported me along the way, coaches, family, even my army uh, unit also supported me at that time. So I think I felt this immense pressure around me that I, I, that I needed to do well. 10 years ago, I was only 18 years old. So um, I didn't really know how to handle the pressure. After the race ended, I, I checked the scoreboard. I finished fifth. So it was even worse than my uh, 2009 performance. It felt like the world just shut off. Everything around me just didn't exist anymore. And I was just like, I started breaking down and I started crying, uh, crying a lot. And um, I just made sure that like no one was near me because it's, like as an athlete, like, we are known to be strong. Uh, we are known to, I know people only see like when we race well, people only see the glory, but um, not many people see uh, the pain we've been through. I kind of contemplated life a bit. So I was like, what was the easiest way? I couldn't see myself going back to, to Singapore because um, I was like, oh, I'm going to go back like, oh, who am I going to face? Like, I've disappointed so many people. So um, yeah, I was at the, standing by the, the ledge of the Games Village looking down because I just wanted to, to end everything, all this pain. As I was, I was looking down, uh, that was when my, my teammate actually came up to me and he, he pulled me away from the ledge immediately and then um, sat me down. And then um, I think one thought really stuck to me, which made me think twice and be like, oh, like, what was I thinking, you know? Was when my friend said that, um, just imagine this, you are already so hurt right now. Your mom is probably so hurt right now. Your, your mom and dad, your parents, everyone is so hurt. Imagine adding, adding one, more, one more piece by, by ending your life right here. Like how much more hurt is your mom gonna feel? To stay alive or to not end everything back there and then was not for me, but for the people that love me. And, um, which is one of the greatest lessons that I've learned. Life is precious and we should learn to treasure every day. Yeah, after my 2011 experience, I think uh, I saw life in a different light, whereby I, I appreciated life even more. So for me, um, I started taking things positively. My swimming career became smooth sailing after that experience, that I would say a life-changing experience. I remember back in 2018 where uh, we, Singapore had a chance to win a bronze medal in the Asian Games and uh, I really wanted to qualify as part of the 4x200 meters freestyle relay team. I missed the relay team by I think it was 0.3 or 0.4 seconds. I was super disappointed when, when I missed the relay, knowing that I could have done a lot better. Um, I remember the night before, I did not sleep at all. What gives me comfort is that, although I didn't qualify the relay, is that um, my loved ones, my family, my friends, my coaches, everyone would still, would still love me no matter what. The biggest takeaway from 2018 would be to to learn to have fun with the sport and not have any expectations because that's when we can truly um, race or swim to our full potential. I can accept failure now, but I can't accept um, not taking on a challenge to, to try for something. So um, to end off, yeah, I would like to say that uh, I, I will do my best for Tokyo and I'm no longer afraid of failure anymore.